Okay, helium is getting a fixed cap now with HIP20, Helium Improvement Proposal. And the price seems to be growing after the news. I see triple digit helium prices. Thoughts? Okay, so I did hear some big news coming out, I think in either an email I sent or in the group, but I, I didn't really look into it, but let me do that now because as a Helium uh, owner, I, I definitely should have a vested interest in this. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look and see what the news is. Um, okay, so the this is pretty interesting. So getting a max supply. Okay, so here's the draft on GitHub. Okay, so November 4th, 2020, this proposal suggests the introduction of halvings and net HNT issuance every two years based on block height to establish a max supply of HNT. Okay, so looks like they're modeling 21 million for Bitcoin. I mean, I think that would be great news if they can add a max supply uh, I'm, I'm not sure how that would affect people who are mining it. That's something that I would, that remains to be seen. But I think what really kind of has hurt Helium, miners were making a lot of money, but you have to be in a, a, a space or region with at least two other hotspots nearby, which made it very tough for people who are out there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and I do get it for IoT devices. You want to make sure that there's lots of coverage. So they want to reward people who are clustered together, but that's not really helping or incentivizing people to want to add coverage to empty regions, right? For example, that's why I'm traveling with my Helium hotspot, trying to come to the big cities uh, as opposed to being in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and then the other thing I would say, once they launched the credits, basically the second token, basically the data credits for people who want to use the, the hotspot, that killed the amount of rewards miners were earning. And that I think also added extra pressure to people to, to sell and cash out. Because if you're not earning as much as you were a few months back, then you definitely want to cash out, especially if you see the price coming back down. So I think any anything that was going to restrict the supply long-term is definitely an added bonus that uh, will be welcomed by investors like myself. Bill? Okay, so uh, obviously at Token Metrics in our discussion groups, we've got people who are into this. Now, I got to tell you something. This is probably one of the greatest like give up trades like I I've ever seen and reversal in a short-term period, okay? This is a classic... V bottom, right? All the way down, all the way back. Now, when you have something like this, okay, I don't think helium, it's kind of like a hidden play in some ways, but if this reflects what can go on in all of crypto, right? Like people just gave up on this, like it was going to go to zero. And then the next thing you know, there's a fundamental catalyst and it's off to the races. Now, is it going to go to the moon? I don't know. Okay. But I do know that this chart symbolizes a crypto market that is undervalued and underappreciated. And if this can happen in helium, it can happen in every single market. That includes DeFi, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all of them. So I think this is symbolic, right? Because this looked like it was going to die just visually. I mean, I could not have told somebody to buy that on the way down yeah. just because it looked like it was going to go to zero, not knowing what it is. So when people give up in crypto, man, do they give up? I mean, they just yeah. rage quit, right? <laughs> but when people rage quit, right, that's the time to get in. 
And now I think we're in a space where, okay, some stuff has rallied and people are like, oh, you know, can I buy it? I was like, well, what's the all time high? Oh, 12. Where is it now? Three. What? So it was at one and a half. It went to three and the all time's high. It's 12 and you can't buy it at three. Right. That's what those scarring moves do to you. Right. And I, I'm trying to, I'm bringing as that one person noted, I'm, I'm bringing some New Jersey here to, to try and help you break out of that. That, you know, if a $12 coin was that went to one is now at three, it might be a buy at two and a half. Yeah, you're going to have to overcome that fear because, you know, like this is what crypto was made for, this type of election pandemic mess. All right. Yeah, so so Ifray says, worth listening to their new podcast. They break down the H. IP20 changes, it's revolutionary. Okay. Um, which podcast is that? Because I had no idea Helium had their own podcast. We'll have to look into that. But I mean, as somebody who has Helium, because I, I have Helium, but I don't even look look at the price. <laughs> I mean, because I, I bought some at 20, bought some at like a dollar 20 and 50, I believe. Uh, and I've been mining it since the beginning. And then somebody told me it went to like three or four dollars, then came back down to like a dollar. And I had no idea. Like it, when I say long term, I don't even check the price. I'm just mining it because I feel like when you find those products you like, you stick with them and you don't check the price. Come back five years later, you'll be up. Right. So to me, Helium is that kind of play because I know five years down the road, it's going to be a win no matter what. Well, obviously not financial advice, that's my opinion. But <laughs> that being said, uh, tell us what you think. Uh, I, do you think this proposal will change Helium for the better? Uh, post down below in the comments.